Definitely gets hot. Hey guys, what's up? Terry here with Leading the Hunt and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video I've uh, got something in the mail and I wanted to try it out. I got a new uh, camping uh, titanium wood stove. See how, uh, how I like it. I've never had one like this. It's super light. I don't know what the exact weight is, but it's really light. And it's really small, compact. It breaks down and fits really nicely in this bag. So, sorry if you can hear it, there's like a a wood chipper or something going back over there. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but sorry if you can. So here it is. A little stove made by them. I don't know how to pronounce it. Titanium wood stove. I'm gonna keep the paper, keep it in this bag, just in case I ever need. You know, some paper to get a fire going. We'll put that in there. Comes with, comes with the little bag. And, uh, yeah, well, let's put it together. That's the whole stove, all the pieces anyways. Let's take this coat off. Looks like these go like so. This one goes like so. And put the middle piece in. So the middle piece has three tabs on it. And there's nothing on this end here. Like that. And then this just slides on there. And then put it together. Like that. Okay, so there's the box. And this goes on here. It goes on there. So here's the problem I keep running into with the stove. I keep going to make a bird's nest the size of what I would make just to start a, a campfire. <laughs> oh, this is what I have. <laughs> my bird's nest is great, but, but it's bigger than my little stove. 
so I gotta bring it down a bit. <laughs> or maybe I could shove it all. Maybe I could just shove it all in there and see what happens. Too big. Uh, I can get it in through the top. It's just too big. I'm gonna have a big ball of fire here. All right, let's whittle this down a bit. Let's bring this down to half the size. I tell you, I'm not a fan of that. There's got to be a better way for that. Woo. Oh, what a mess. She heats up though. Boy, that's hot already. Drop a little bit more of that in there. this a bit. Shoot. So I got so excited to get this going, I forgot to open up the handle. So now I gotta try and get it off there. Oh. So I can get that 
handle open. Way to go, Terry. My handle, ow. <laughs> Seen better days anyways. Try that again. Definitely gets hot. Definitely can't put very big pieces in though. it in about three minutes three to five minutes so far I'm not sure exactly and it is just starting to boil Good and boiled. Peaches and cream. A couple of things I found out that little fire. Uh, you need to make a really small, like a much smaller tinder bundle than what you might be used to. Because obviously it's got to fit inside in order to get it started. So my, my first bird nest, uh, like you saw, was much too big. Um, and then I tried to do it without the actual bird nest and just the, some of the, the, the cattail fluff. And uh, I just couldn't get it. I could get it to light, but it couldn't. It wouldn't stay long enough. It's just cattail, right? And I, then I couldn't get it inside the little cook stove. So you definitely need a smaller, little tiny palm size, almost uh, bird's nest uh, to start this thing. And also make sure you have lots of uh, little wood ready to go in, like at like normal, but like almost you want to have like little bundles of it just palm size uh, bundles so you can just kind of stick the whole palm, uh, the whole bundle in at one time just a lot easier to catch the wood instead of trying to drop individual pieces in because there wasn't really any clear way to drop an individual piece in other than through the top but then if it got I didn't want it to stick out because I wanted to put my pot on so I wanted it to go in through the front so I got so excited to uh, try it out that I forgot to open up the handle on my pot. So it's a little more melted than it normally is, but <laughs> it, it's always melted. Uh, now I gotta wait for it to burn down and be safe to actually pack it up and get moving again. You didn't see it, but I wasn't smart when I uh, made this. Um, there's about that much water in it, which is way too much for a thing of oatmeal. And again, I wasn't, wasn't thinking. Just wanted to do it and get it done with and then try it out. And I poured the oatmeal into this pot instead of my cup. And, uh, wow, now I've got like three things of oatmeal in here just to make up for it. I mean, it only took maybe five minutes to boil the water on that which is really good. 
I just used some pine that was laying dead over there. Um, so with that pine, I mean, it, it's gonna burn down pretty quick, so that's good. hiking out here today so I'm gonna get this safe pack up clean up and move on I'm gonna eat my oatmeal first I'm a chickadee over here come here <laughs> That'd be fun, eh? Got him land on my shoulder. This is actually really weird weather for around here this time of year. We're in um, Ontario and it's the middle of November and I'm out here in a t-shirt. It's crazy. Last weekend there was actually snow on the ground. It's not really cold. But I gotta tell you, I've got a lot of layers on. I have a couple pairs of socks on and my boots, my winter boots. I don't know if I can show you them. Whew. I've got underwear, long underwear, a pair of track pants. A pair of uh, hunting pants, and then I got snow pants on. I've got uh, a t shirt, and uh, what else? I got a long sleeve shirt, I got two sweaters on, and my winter coat, as well as my baklava, 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 baklava. Bak Baklava? Oh, I say it. Sing around my neck. <laughs> what? I don't know. Can't make up its mind. Alright, well, I forgot to hit record, but I just washed my pot out and used the water to kind of dump on it, cool it down. And, uh,. Clean them up. It'd be nice to be able to wash it off. And I'll go over to the pond there. There's a pond there, but there's no real easy way to get into it, except for over there. I don't know if I can down there. A little bit of warpage from the heat. It's okay though. Could be just from cooling it down too fast, maybe. Nice and sooty. Back into the bag. 
and it fits back in there. Thanks for watching. If you guys found any value in this video at all, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, click the little bell beside it so you can uh, get all my videos as they come out. Alright, well, I'll talk to you guys later.